Uh, we also have Janelle Fort. Janelle, I don't know if Janelle's able to speak with me, but I do want to show you a live video uh, from Janelle. This is on I-35. Janelle, are you able to hear and uh, speak with me? Yep, yep, I can hear you. I okay. Can, I can speak to you too. So we, we're coming from Milford. Um, that's where we were just a couple of minutes ago. Started raining really, really hard. We started getting pelted by hail um, and decided to move our way up north a little bit just because we were right on the edge of where a lot of that severe weather is. Um, we're on 35 again, headed north. Um, what you're seeing in this video, our camera is really good because when I'm looking out of the windshield here, um, if my hand was outside of the door, it would be very hard for me to see my hand. The visibility here, really bad. Um, Ellis County under a flood watch now, we are seeing so much rain falling. There's lots of ponding on the roads here. As we're driving, um, we've hit a couple of spots where water is just kind of spurted up, kind of slowed us down as we've been traveling. And again, we're headed north. So originally we were trying to go south towards Abbott, towards where a lot of that damage was. Um, but the weather just started getting really, really severe. So again, what we've been preaching throughout, if you don't have to be out on the roads, if you can stay put for a little bit, definitely do that. Um, get to those safe areas because as you can see, the roads are just a complete mess out this way um, and are making for a lot of dangerous conditions if you're trying to get anywhere. I'm going to send it back to you.